Located off the Adriatic Sea, off the southern tip of the Istria Peninsula, in Croatia, is Pula, the largest city in Istria County and the eighth largest city in the country of Croatia. Pula, a seafront city known for its Roman ruins, protected harbor and beaches, was settled in prehistoric times and valued for its strategic location. The city itself has been occupied, destroyed, and rebuilt numerous times. The Romans, Ostrogoths, Venetians, Genoese, the Croatian Hungarians, and Habsburgs, as well as the Allied forces in World War II, have each had their run over the city. Prior to World War II, under the protection of Vienna, the official language of Pula was German, but the everyday language was Italian. After World War II, Pula became part of Croatia and what was Yugoslavia. The city is full of history and you can still see some of the municipal walls around the city and even climb the hill to check out the Venetian fortress Castel. Today, the city is known for its winemaking, fishing, shipbuilding, and tourism. It can get a bit crowded during the day from visiting cruise ships to day trippers, so you want to arrive early. But as you wander the city, you can still feel the Italian and Venetian influence over the city. We spent a half a day visiting Pula, and it was about an hour and 10 minute drive from Porta Rose, Slovenia. Known for its delicious Italian food, such as pizzas, to its cobblestone streets and colorful buildings. If you close your eyes and then open them again, one might think that they were instead visiting Venice. Of course, when visiting Pula, you have to stop at its most famous site first, which is part of the Roman ruins and is the Pula Arena, which is also one of the best preserved Roman amphitheaters. The arena is the only remaining Roman amphitheater to have four side towers and with all three Roman architectural orders entirely preserved. It was constructed in 27 BC through 68 AD and is among only six of the world's largest surviving Roman amphitheaters out of 200 Roman amphitheaters of today. It is also the best preserved ancient monument in Croatia and found on the back side of the Croatian 10 Kuna banknote. However, the arena is oddly enough not listed on the UNESCO World Heritage list. Also, while you're over in that area, make sure that you check out the World War II statue the fountain with a map of Pula's Old Town, as well as the freestanding Baroque style bell tower over at the Cathedral of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The arena marks the beginning of the walk through Old Town. As you walk through the pedestrian city center of colorful buildings, shops, and restaurants, you'll eventually come to another of the famous Roman ruins in the Forum Square, the Temple of Augustus. Built during the reign of Augustus Caesar, fronted by a high porch and supported by six giant columns, this little temple was built sometime between 2 BC and 14 AD. It survived the Christian era by being converted into a church, but then destroyed by a bomb in 1944. The subsequent stone-by-stone -stone reconstruction has brought it back to something closely approaching its former glory, and it now houses a small archaeological display. It was actually once one of a pair of matching temples fronting the Forum, the civic heart of Roman and medieval Pula, but all that survives of its twin, the Temple of Diana, can be seen incorporated into the rear wall of the 13th century City Hall or known as the communal palace next door. At the palace, you'll find the flags of Pula, Istria, and Croatia flying above, greeting you over the entrance. If you keep walking through the old town, you come to an ancient Roman arch, the Arch of Sergei. It is a triumphal arch, and it marks the edge of the original Roman town. The arch stood behind the original naval gate of the early Roman colony, approximately constructed 29 through 27 BC. 
When you're finished, make sure that you grab something to eat in Pula. We ate at the Pizzeria Jupiter. That was up on the hill, which I highly recommend. The pizza was amazing. I'll put the link in the description. If you've been to Pula, I'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. See you next time.